for your full coated Havanese. If they've got uh, you know quite a thick head, profuse coat, we'll show you what to do with the, the hair and how to tie it up in a couple of different hairstyles. So we're going to do some hairstyles for full coated Havanese um, and how really to tie the hair. But so the first thing you want to do is give them a good brush through or a good comb through, I should say. Make sure we've got no knots um, in the hair that you're going to be tying back. And also, up. Also, make sure you've got a nice even split. So go down the middle of the nose and make sure the hair is evenly parted and you want to be taking the hair from sort of halfway across their eyes so this bit's coming forward and everything else is going backwards now what I'm going to do is section off the hair I'm going to tie back what I want to do is just feel where his ear is because I don't want to be pulling his, hair, his ear hair into it so just feel where his ear is and I'm going to clear that and again his ear's there so I'm going to clear that on that side so this is the bit of hair that I'm dealing with and I'll just make a nice neat edge along there and the same at that side and then this hair here is the hair that I'm going to be dealing with now how far back you go depends on the hairstyle so a really simple one is just banding it back so if I split it band the front bit so for this you need a bag of the orthodontic bands. These are listed on my equipment video on one of my grooming basics equipment that you'll need. Um, and they're just little very very stretchy orthodontic bands. So I'm just going to tie that up and I'm going to wrap it a couple of times. So about three times with these bands. It depends on your band. Wrap it a couple of times. Neaten it off. And then put the rest in another one now you can do two you can do three of those these it depends how far back you want to go so if I do this as a two just grab the rest <coughs> put another band in again I'm going to do three wraps And then just neaten that knot down. That's two, and that, <coughs> excuse me, as you can see, that will keep his hair off his face um, and keep it tied back. But if you want to, you can go further down the head, just don't get any of that ear hair in. So I can even put him on a third one, and it'll just make it lie flat at the back rather than come forward. So up, he wants to lie, he's tired, he's had a bath, haven't you? You want to lie down, don't you, Sky? So that's three. So if you, your dog's got really long head hair, three bands, you can do them more equal than that, but three bands makes the hair lie back nice and flat. So that's the first one. So the next one is a plait, and we're going to plait the same section of hair I've sectioned off, we're going to plait it down his head and again it will help it lay flat. So make sure you've got everything even, take that from halfway across the eyes and everything else goes back. Section this top bit off, don't get any of the ear hair in it. Up. And then we're going to start plaiting, so what I'm going to do is just take a section at the front. What I find useful for that is one of these pound shot combs with the pointed edge on there and I can just section the first bit off and that's what I'm going to start with. One, two, three and start plaiting them over. So that's one round done. When I go to my next round, just pull some in from that side. Take that across and then he wants to lie down don't this guy pull some in from that side take 
take that across and I'm keeping it quite tight but not too too tight take a bit more on that side and across and then one from this side Good boy. So you can see our pats, plats forming now. And just keep going. And then you can go as far back as you want. You can stop whenever you want. Or you can carry on. I like to go just to the top bit of the head there. And then plat the ends. A bit more. Put your head down. Good boy. So this is the last one I'm going to take anything into his plat. Gather it all up get everything else out of the way, take it over. And then with these, just plait them into a ponytail for as long as you want. And then always finish off with your dental band. And I like to put a little bow in the end. Oops, sorry, kick the camera. So I like to put a little bow in the end. Because it looks gorgeous, doesn't it, Sky? See this phone going off. There we go. So there's your plant. And if you want to, you can just pull these up a little bit and give them a bit more shape. Like that. Just loosen them as you go along. So there's a plait and I, I this is my favourite look. I find it's the easiest. It stays in really, really well. Um, I will leave this in for about two days and then brush it out. Uh, and it keeps the hair nice and flat and out of everything. So that's one of my favourite ones. So that's a, a plait. So we swapped models. Sky Dad is done. We're going to do Rogi now. Let me just tell you about these. If you get these hair clips, and this is all chewed up with the dogs, if you get these hair clips, just use them occasionally. Um, I have known dogs end up with ball patches with using these. I'm not sure why. I think it's because they grip the fur and there's no flexibility with them. But if you use those, just use them on occasion because they do or can create ball spots on your dogs. So we're going to do the same thing again. I'm going to make sure he's nice and even down his nose. That we're going from about halfway across the eye so all that's combed down and I'm not going to include any of his ear hair in it so I don't want him to be pulling when he's moving around with his ears so his ears are there I'm going to stop there and the same at this side make sure you don't pull the ear hair into it so that's the section we're going to deal with and what we're going to do is the same as Sky's had but we're going to do them in two halves so this time I'm going to go right down the middle, section that one off over there, leave that to one side. <coughs> so I split his head in, her into half, down the middle of his head, and this half I'm going to do like I did with Sky, two bands. So we'll go three times. Neaten that up. Then another one further back there. Head. And put your band in where you want it to sit on the head. So if I put the band there, it's going to sit there. If I put the band here, it'll sit here. up there so that's that side you look gorgeous don't you? let's do the other side 
And now the job is to get them to match evenly so they're in the right place. On both sides, let's give it a comb through. That one's going in there. Head down. Good boy. Can be fiddly, you've just got to make sure if you pull any extra hair in that you take it out. That's that one. And then the next one in the same place as that one. Head down. Are you doing that on purpose? You put your head up on purpose. I've actually put your head down. Head down. Good boy. That's it. Just brush that out of the way. Get my band. Put it in exactly the same place, level with the other one. On this side. That's it, one tape. Three. There we go. And just brush the end. And that's the other one. So there is something else we can add to this now because I think these look really nice if you actually plait them down their ears. So that's what we're going to do next. That's another style. But now, in fact, let's just show you a few options. You could put a couple of little bows in there. So there we go. A couple of bows in either one of those. And that looks gorgeous, doesn't it? You're so pretty. And then what I think looks nice with these... You can leave it like that, or you can plait these. Stay there. Okay. <laughs> Stay there. One, two, three. That's that side. Let's do this side, eh? And there we have the last one for that. Now I could take those out and put them on the ends, that would look as equally nice. The best way to take any of these out is always to cut them out. Don't pull them through the hair, you'll spoil the hair. That's number. Beautiful, aren't you? Are you gorgeous? Are you gorgeous? Yes, you are. Absolutely gorgeous. And the way to remove all of these is to always just cut the band, not the hair, just the band. Don't drag them through the hair. Okay, and then we're going to do two plaits this time. So section the hair off you want to work with. Get your comb. Head down. Good boy. Split it exactly down the middle. I'm just going to tie that one over there out of the way. And we're going to plait this one. I'm going to plait it this way. Start there. You're falling asleep, aren't you? Just start plaiting. And then add a little bit more in. Side. 
just to forward in his ear hair. You're going to sleep, Roger. Try making them even at both sides so they go in the right direction equally. Last one, and then we'll just plot it out. Go ahead, Dan. Around in the end. And then we'll put a bow in at the same place. And that's that one. Now the other thing you can do is you can join them up, join them up at the back, they look quite nice like that, and then put a bow in there. Quite like that one actually, that's quite a nice look. There we go, head down Roger. There we go. So you can join those now. That's it. Beautiful. Good boy, aren't you? Clever baby. You're a clever baby, yes you are. If you've got a puppy who you're tr desperately trying to grow in, I'll show you what to do with their hair. So first of all, keep it still, Bonnie, is do the same thing. Make sure the parting's nice and even down the middle of the nose. Slip that. You're looking at about halfway across their eye. That comes down and then all this is going to go back. If you haven't got much length there, you can take it rather from up here, you can take it here and it will just keep that hair out of the eyes. If you've got a bit of hair sticking up here and it's getting in the way, you're waiting for that length to come for it to drop. What you can do is put a little bit of hair wax and just flatten it down there. So I've got something called Sit and Stay from Plush Puppy. But it works the same as hair wax, as you can see, it's really, really waxy. Or Vaseline, and if you put it on this bit of the fur here, it will just make it sit really, really flat. I'm just going to brush that in. Can you see how nice and flat that is there? So if you've got a puppy, and you've just got a little bit of sticky up hair here, and you're waiting for this length to come for it to drop, just put some hair wax on it. 
and it will sit lovely and flat then. Hair wax or bath, I prefer hair wax because it's supposed to be in the hair. And then if you can just take a little bit of hair, I mean, you literally only need that length. You know, a little bit that length, you can get a dental band in there. So just put a very short bit at the front in a dental band. I mean, obviously Bonnie's is, is longer than a puppy's, but you literally only need a little bit. And that will just keep that little bit of fur again, keep that backwards out of the face. So that you can see their beautiful eyes. Shall we put your bow in? Pizza. So there you go. So for a puppy, you can bring that ponytail rather than have it up here. You can bring it forward just with a little bit of hair. You've got dental bands will wrap round and wrap round. You might have to do it. Um, I don't think they'll stay in for very long. You may be doing it once or twice a day. Um, but, you know, just from there, just that little bit there. Keep this down with a little bit of wax and you'll be able to get your puppy in a top knot. Good girl. Yeah.